Okay, so tonight what I'm working on is the 1976 GMC Motorhome. I'm going to be redoing the complete front end. There's a previous video that I had and I showed where there's a lot of slop in the in the bearings on the passenger side and all the bushings are dry rotted and all that. So I'm tearing into it and going to replace all that stuff. So this is the first part is getting all the old stuff out of there. And step one you gotta remember this step. This first step is you have to take off that um, hub nut that's on the wheel. That's the first thing you have to do. Don't um, don't forget this step. Because if you forget the step, what happens is you'll have this. You'll have the whole lower control arm with the CV, and the nut will still be on there and the nut will still be on there and you won't be able to get it off. I, I, I tried. I put this uh, crowbar in here and where am I? I put this crowbar in here and I bent the crowbar. So I ran to a shop and they're going to look at it and get apart. And I just noticed there's two pieces here. I was told do not let these balls fall out. There's a million little needle bearings. And it's just sitting there, but this has to be rebuilt, and that boot shot. So I gotta under the air. I gotta grab that. All right. First thing you want to do is get this cotter pin out. It's like a new cotter pin. All I have to do is take the needle nose, put it in there. on like 200 something foot pounds you'll need a inch and a half socket oh it's not going this whole thing's just going to turn so you take the cotter pin out and put the wheel back on lower it down okay gotta put a couple lugs on it See, I have the uh, motorhome up on jack stands, so I gotta. I'm gonna lift it up in the middle, remove the jack stands. The other side doesn't have any wheels on it, so I can't go down too far. But I'm gonna go down far enough on here so this wheel gets a lot of weight on it, and hope I can break that nut loose. Okay, let's see. See what happens. This is a half inch drive. Oh my god. The whole RV moved. Put some wood blocks on the wheels. Oh my god, look at that bar bend. It's a harbor freight bar. Bad feeling. Well, I guess I'm not getting that off. I broke it. Can I bring it back? This part didn't break. Here we go. I broke that right off. I knew something was going to break. I really thought this was going to break. Let's try with the impact, see if it happens. Nope. Nothing. 
Well, since that didn't work, I'm just gonna disassemble everything and pull the lower control arm out with the CV joint on it and take it to the shop and let them break that nut off. Might be a little bit harder, but I need to get this stuff off here. I have an appointment Monday to get <coughs> the uh, spindles all rebuilt, so I don't really want to do it this way, but I don't have any more tools to break. I'm going to jack it up and take the wheel off again. Alright, so I'm going to start ripping into it. Alright, no rhyme or reason, I'm just going to start taking things off. Like the tie rod here. Alright, that's out. Take the brake caliper off. I'll take the tie rod off. Out. Once I take the nut off, I can get the uh, brake line off. Okay. Three quarter for the top bolt joint. Take the bolts off of inside here. The bolts off of the dry shaft. There's on like six bolts that go around the uh, CV joints. The CV joints right there. There's like a bunch of them. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get to take those out. I didn't do that last time, and I messed up that CV joint. All right. So sixteenth. So I don't know. Let me see if it'll turn. Yeah, I can turn it. See, this is in the way. If I get a really long extension, I can just do it right from here. I don't have a really long half inch drive extension. So I have a 3 8 3 8 extension, 3 8 to half inch adapter, half inch 7 16 socket. I'm okay with that. It's a six point. I don't know how tight these are, but I'm not going to break a half inch extension with a 3 inch drive. I know that. Uh, now this is going to spin. Take this, stick it in the rotor. There we go. Oh, that's not bad. Oh 
six. All right, so that should be that should come loose. When I move stuff around, it'll come loose. Not a big deal. I'm gonna get a jack and put it underneath this lower control arm and support it and take the shock off and lower it down a little bit. Okay. All right, take the shock off. Separate the upper ball joint. Yep, yep, that did it. I'm gonna take the upper control arm bolts off. Nothing happens. Now, the last time I used my breaker bar on the other side, guess what? It broke the breaker bar. Okay. Let's come off. Comes right out. Go. That's the easy one. I take this. Hang it up here. Let's lower the jack. And this should go down. Not the lower A arm. It should go down. Oh boy. That's the uh, torsion bar pushing it down. This is off, so we're good there. And all this is going to stay because I can't get the nut off. There's only two more bolts, and then I got some more suspension or uh, steering. I got some more steering stuff to take off. To get to this, is a hole in the frame. Fire smoking, it's almost out. The other side, I took the torsion bar off. I don't have to do that. All right, so right here, this torsion bar, this bolt. Well, let's see if I can get it off. If I can get the impact on here. I think it'll go. Now, torsion bar chuck, pork chop is hitting and I can't get this, this piece out. There we go. It's out. Two more bolts. And then some, uh, some steering stuff. Alright, so there's no tension on here. Okay. One bolt. Okay, now I'm going to move the, the jack. Just pull this whole sucker out. Oh. 
So the, uh, the torsion bar is still holding it in. That's off. Okay. All right. So the last thing I'm gonna do for tonight is take these tie rods off. Got a cotter pin. So I took the tie rod off. All it is is a cotter pin and a bolt, or I mean a nut, and take your pickle fork, smash it, and it pops right out. Uh, what I'm trying to do now is I want to get the steering shaft out. So you can see it's ripped. The boot's ripped right here. A nut here, you loosen, and down and over here at the steering box side, there's a nut. And then there's a bolt on the other side. I think it should just come up. I loosened them up already. So it looks like this the steering column collapses right here in the middle. See right here? It looks like it will collapse a little bit. So I'll be able to take that off. I think I gotta take it off the bottom. That's what it seems like, but it's It's on there pretty good. I might have to get like a little hammer and bang it a little bit or something. I mean, this side's not moving at all. This is all loose, but that's not moving at all. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna take this out too. See if this needs to get rebuilt or replaced or whatever. I know I have to do something with this this um, rip rip the boot. This must be all grease inside there. So that's an issue. Also, when I uh, when I turn. Also, when I turn the wheel, it will bind up a little bit sometimes. So I think that might be in there. Uh, and then once I replace that, the next thing would be the box, but hopefully the box is okay. So I'm going to uh, take the shaft out, take the other tie rod off that's still there. I got the tie rod still on here. As long as I have to move it away from the frame, I can't get a so a sock and a ratchet in there. I can get the, I, or I can just use a wrench, but there's no room there. Uh, and I gotta look to see if I wanna take this whole center link off. There's some other pieces. I don't know what it's called. You have this one. That might be an idler, and there's another one. There's two idlers, I don't know. But there's two. So yeah, there's this piece here. But, uh, yeah, that might be another idler. So I don't know if I'm gonna maybe I'll just get those, replace them when I do the whole thing. I got this bar here. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for coming back. Um, today we're going to Alex Serum in Okeechobee to go get some front end work done on the, the uh, GMC motorhome. I'm uh, took the whole front end apart and I'm bringing it to him. I have the upper control arms, low control arms, spindles, and axles, and some miscellaneous parts. So I'm gonna have him do the bearings in the spindles, um, press on, press those on and off, and then have, uh, buy whatever parts I need that, that he has. He, ha he has all the parts there, so I'm just gonna buy the parts from him, bushings and all that kind of stuff. I have a whole list. So we're gonna head down there now. Let's go.
All right, we have arrived. Here we go, check it out. All these are motorhomes. That one looks nice. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next uh, video when I put this thing back all back together. It's uh, still torn apart. I started doing the one side. That's as far as I got. Low control arm is kind of in. But, um, yep, that was the teardown of it. And me bringing some parts to Jeff Sherum to um, buy the parts and, and get some stuff. Alright, thanks for watching.